And so this is uh, an example of where H being a spoofed down IP address. So we can see here that uh, this this address isn't actually on the same network as this one, uh, but it still manages to to communicate with the device. And the way it does that is, is although its, its main IP address is on the same network, the addresses it's sending to the network are spoofed. So this node sends out what its MAC address is and broadcasts it. That node responds back with its MAC address and then it can communicate. So you can see here uh, that uh, this looks very strange that we actually see here what the real IP address is of the server who's going to spoof because it, it does a it does a DNS here and then all of a sudden is that we actually start to see uh, accesses to from this machine to to here on various various ports. Okay, so we'll have a look at this spoof. Okay, so there's there's the first ARP. Let me just have a look at the the source Mac is ninety six. And there we go. Look. That's the same MAC address here as ninety six. Look for the this DNS query. We actually see the MAC address of ninety six. But if we look here the the request there was from the MAC address 96, but the IP address, which is actually defined in the request, is 10.0.0.1. So that's obviously the spoof address. So it looks like we've actually found out where the where the, the spoof address is actually coming from because it, it hasn't changed the MAC address. Okay, so I, IP addresses really aren't that that credible uh, in in a network infrastructure. So you can see there that once once the spoof happens, and this this is standard H ping, you can see here that that it's managing to communicate with the the, the destination here, even though it isn't on the same subnet. So there we go. There's a response back from the server. It's not even on the same network, but it's managing to resolve. The, the MAC addresses. Okay, so there's the A3 in that. Okay, so then you see a continual request for that from the spiffed address.